Hello Velinicorns, welcome to another video and before we start with today's video make sure you have clicked the little bell button next to the subscription button so that you get notified when I upload each and every new video and that will be every day until Christmas. So today we're talking about how to improve your watercolor art and generally how to improve your illustrations. This video is brought to you by Manga Crash Course Fantasy where I have a full section of the book dedicated to the rules of professional illustrations including anatomy, expressions, color theory, composition and many other small but very important details and lessons. Number one, plan out the drawing by creating a thumbnail. A thumbnail is a miniature version of your future artwork and yes, even the professional artists do tend to plan out their drawing before ever touching the paper with their pencil. This is very important to plan out your tiny drawing and see how you like it from afar, just as if you were looking at a commercial or a billboard across the street. You need to like the whole picture and to plan out the whole picture before even starting your drawing. Number two, when planning out the thumbnail, make sure to make many different thumbnails so that you can see if your characters or scenes can be represented from different angles or maybe some characters should be put in a different position or maybe put on a spotlight more or less inside of your future artwork. Number three, you can even include colors to have a full plan so that you know that you have everything planned out without fearing that you might mess up or do something that you would later regret color-wise. Of course, when creating thumbnails, don't go into too many details because the thumbnail is just a preview and you will be adding more details to your real work later. Number four, use references. References are your friend. Tracing is not. These two should not be mixed. Referencing something is using shapes from nature or a photo you have taken to implement into your current artwork. For example, I got commissioned to do two dragons which are more dog-like, so I wanted to have a design that's reminiscent to Haku from Spirited Away and I used the shapes from Haku as the main inspiration for this work. I haven't traced anything, I haven't used any of Haku's color patterns or even line work styles, but I have used the shape to influence the general idea. Number five, use different line thicknesses. I have already explained how different line arts can influence your artwork in a different way and you can see the full video in this link right here. As for today's video, I have used light and non-connecting lines because I wanted a more pastel and uplifting and gentle atmosphere in my work. Number six, if you use watercolors, masking tape on the edges will prevent shrinking. Uh, if you're using watercolors, sometimes too much water can make the paper wrinkle. Every paper does this, no matter how uh, thick or smooth it is. It's very important to protect yourself from making a wobbly artwork by covering your edges with some masking tape. I'm using a washi tape, but you can also use any regular masking cheap tape to achieve this effect. Number seven, don't use pure colors from your watercolor palette. This is very important. Always make sure to dirty up your colors, mix a lot of different colors, make them darker, make them more calm and make them more realistic. Otherwise, you will be having a flashy and too bright of an effect. One of the right ways to use pure colors in professional techniques and illustrations is to use them as a light source. So if your characters have glowing eyes or maybe you have some flames or magic effects in your artwork, you can use the pure green or pure yellow or pure orange as the source inside of a lightning beam or a flame. So make sure to remember these rules well. Number eight, mixing colors in plastic lids keeps them fresh. I used to make a mistake by mixing my color palette on my papers, different sorts of papers. And what this did was making me work really fast 
uh, the colors that I was mixing up were getting really dry really fast and by keeping my mixed color on a plastic lid or the lid of my watercolor palette I was keeping them moist and fresh and there for a long time so that I can keep the same color on a surface as long as I possibly could. Number nine, color theory. Color theory is very important in professional artwork. A lot of artists know exactly which color theory combination to use to get certain effects. Certain color combinations can give you cartoony looks, funny looks, artistic looks, etc. For this particular drawing, I was using complementary colors. Complementary colors stand on opposite sides of the color wheel. This time I used the combination of orange and blue to do my work. You will see that my drawing is split right in the middle between these two colors. And you will see that I'm using the blue on the top and the orange on the bottom. I am using ratio of almost half and half. But usually that's not supposed to be done unless you have envisioned it so that you can have a certain composition like yin yang or half and half in your topic, just like I do here. The upper dragon is light blue, but its background is dark blue. And the lower dragon is dark orange and brown and its background is light orange. So technically I have used only two colors but I made their values and made their darkness level different. The dark dragon is in front of a light background purposefully so that the dragon is more visible. And of course the light dragon has the opposite effect. It's light blue on dark blue color, which makes it pop out even more. I hope you guys have learned something new this time. And I hope you use these tricks in your own artwork. It doesn't have to be only watercolor. You can do a lot of these tricks and tips on any medium, on any sort of tools. So make sure to use these and to tag me on social media whenever you use my tips, tricks and lessons. And I will be so happy to share it on my social media. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you would like to learn how to draw manga please check out my book Manga Crash Course available in four different languages as well as my latest book Manga Crash Course Fantasy.